Hi, you guys doing? My name is Josie. A couple of weeks ago, I put up a video, Machine 2 as a MIDI controller on uh, Logic Pro X. So you guys can use the pads on there to enter notes or record notes into Logic and anything else for that matter, play keys, anything you want to do. Um, and in that video, I said maybe I'd do a video so we can set up the play stop buttons as well to work. Um, to run logic, you know, an undo button, maybe turn on cycle, maybe open the mixer, note repeat, make it really cool. Um, so here's the video this uh, week. Uh, by the way, if you guys want to check me out online, uh, I am learnaudiosoftwares.wordpress.com and you guys can check out my background and all kinds of cool stuff as well. If not, it's all good. So let's get to it. Uh, we'll go into logic and we'll take a look at logic. Most people, when they first uh, get Logic in the machine, that's their first question. They want to set this up so it'll run Logic. You hit play over here, you hit stop and record, and it'll work. But what ends up happening is the template that native instruments include for this to happen um, does not work that way. That's why I did that first video, which you guys should really take a look at. But in any case, this is what most people end up doing. They go into control surfaces, they go on the setup, and on there, they add a Mackie control, and then they set it up uh, to work as a, a player. The problem with that is, yeah, it will play, it will stop, it will do all those functions for you, but it will stop you from being able to use it as a controller to record notes and everything else. So that's, that's exactly what we don't want to do. We want to be able to use machine like we want to use it. We want to play keys on it. We want to play our drums on it, whatever we want. And we also want it to control logic. You know, that is the cool thing about having machine. So let's make it happen. For me, I have this here. This has nothing to do with my native instruments uh, machine. I have an MCU that I use as well. So that, that that's what that's about. So if you have something on there, that you've set up for machine to work at it, get rid of it. It's not gonna work for you unless you guys have some crazy way of doing it. Um, let me know, I'm open to checking that out as well. You learn new things online as, and it's all good. So if you, you have something like that that you've done, I'm totally into it. Let me know what that is and how you guys did it. Uh, so let's do it. For the sake of having visuals and for the sake of naming stuff as well, we're gonna use Native Instruments uh, Controller Editor. You guys can find it in their applications, native instruments folder in your apps folder, I'm sorry. Um, so if you have it, open it up and uh, we'll use a visual. So like I said, when you buy, they have a template that comes that call Mac, that's called Mac Control. And um, that's what most people use. We're gonna create our own. We'll start with the Mac Control template. So you guys can go on there if, if you want. Um, but right now it's not necessary. But just later on, we will for the visuals. So let's do it. Here we go. Um, we're going to go into Logic Pro X. We are going to go on the key commands, edit. Shortcut for it is Option K. I'm a big fan of shortcuts, so keep that in mind. Option K will open key commands. Here we go. The next thing we want to do on our controller, because this requires for the controller to be in MIDI mode, is we want to hit Shift, Control, or MIDI rather, to turn on the MIDI to turn the controller uh, on the MIDI mode. So now it's a MIDI mode, as you can see my screen change on there. So now we're gonna look here in the search, we're gonna go for play. Cause that's the first thing we wanna do, we wanna get this play button to actually start logic for us. Okay, it has two plays. It has play, play or stop. Which simply means that you can make this play button do two things, play and stop. Some people like to use it that way because then they'll use the erase button to maybe uh, use it as an undo. For me, I'm going to keep it basic. I'm going to use the play for play and the erase for stop and the record for record. Because I've set this mute button for my undo and my solo button for my redo. You can set it up any which way you want. So for me, I'll go on the play. I'll go on the learn new assignment right and I'm going to hit my play button and as you can see the note changed up here and now let's see if it works I'm gonna hit play and you can see that it's playing logic okay if I want to stop it 
it won't let me stop it because I have to assign my race to be my stop button. Keep in mind that if you've used the play or stop, if I would hit the play again, it would stop it. Okay. Now we'll do a search for stop. Okay. We'll select stop up here, learn new assignment. We'll hit the erase button. You see it took it. Now let's give it a test run. Stop. Here we go. Play. Stop. Pretty cool. Now let's do the rewind. Rewind. There it goes on top. Learn new assignment. I'll use the step back for it. Great. Okay, so now let's see if it rewinds. I hit it and it rewinds by a bar. Okay, now let's do the forward. There it goes. Learn new assignments. Forward key. It grabbed it. Let's see if it's doing it. Forward, forward. Rewind, rewind. Play. Stop. Let's do the record button. Record. There we go. Learn new assignment. Record. There we go. Let's see if the record works. The screen, as you can see, is red. It's recording me there. Let's stop it. Let's hit play. Stop. Let's actually fast forward a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Play. I have the cycle on, so I went back to the top. Cool. Now, for me, I've set this mute button to be my undo button. So, you see, I got rid of that recording I did. And let's do an undo button for you guys. Undo. Whoops. Undo. Here it goes. Learn new assignments. Undo. I'll hit the mute button. There we go. It grabbed it. Okay. So that's what you guys can do. Like I said, some people like to use the play button for the play and stop. And then the erase button to actually erase what they've done. So it's really pretty much how you like it to work. It's your workflow. Um, another thing that I've done for mine is when I hit the note repeat button here, it opens the note repeat. So I can hold anything I want. It's repeating 16th notes. I can do eighth notes or quarter notes. You know, so that's pretty kind of cool because it's almost like an MPC or, you know, one of those other, um, cool old school, um, drum machines a sampler um so if you want to do the note repeat obviously look for note repeat I think they call it re note repeat right here yep learn new assignment you can set hit that note repeat and it'll make that happen for you as well um another thing i did on mine was um that's close to note repeat i set up my scene so it could bring up um my piano row because I use that a lot. So you can do anything you want. You can make it really cool. My pattern opens up my mixer. You know, just search for what you want. If you want your mixer, again, find your mixer here. Cycle through or show a hide mixer or open mixer. Learn new assignment and select whatever key you want. It's up to you how you want to make it. You can customize it and call it whatever you like. Okay, so that's pretty much how you guys can set up this controller to do exactly what you want, not what Native Instrument wanted you to do with it. It's a cool machine already, Native Instruments, but we kind of want to use it the way we like to use it. Um, so now, controller editor, the reason why I opened this up is because sometimes you can assign all these keys and then forget exactly what they were if you don't use it for a while or just a lot of things. I have a lot of controllers. They all do different kinds of things, so I kind of like to label them. So on here, you can go on your play button and actually label your play button. If you double click on it, you can hit play on it and label it. Another thing um, that is, is, is good to take a look at is these are MCU buttons. So every one of them should be to MCU. Okay. That is also another thing to take a look at. When you're in working, something doesn't go right. You're like, why isn't this working? Those are reasons. So once you're done labeling your stuff cycle, you see I set up my cycle as well. This undo, um, this grid button up here, I set up for cycle. So when I hit my uh, 
See? Turns my cycle on and off, which is pretty cool. Um, so basically, you guys can do anything. Label it, and once you're done labeling, what you guys can do is rename this. Save it as, say configuration as. Um, there's another function here that lets you... Hold on. Duplicate it, delete it. But basically, save as is how you um, will rename it and call it whatever you like. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the tutorial. Um, this is it for now. Definitely share. I uh, hope you guys follow me and check out some other cool stuff I do as well. As always, let me know if you guys need help. Keep it live. Josie.